Hello guys! Merry Christmas and welcome to the Happy Heart. I'm so glad that you guys tuned in today for another fun video. Uh, this video is going to be about my holiday decor and how I decorated my house this year for 2017. I actually had a lot different of plans, but I think it turned out really cute and um, I'll just take you around and show you what I have out and um, kind of the meaning behind it because I am a super sentimental person and that's mostly like why I keep anything or why I have anything in my house like it, it has to have a meaning a memory something it's just my DNA so um, a lot of stuff is really sentimental to me but um, and especially at Christmas time because this is my favorite time of the year I remember just being so happy at Christmas time and all the family would get together and it was just I really really enjoyed it when I was a kid so I just have really good memories so decorating for Christmas was actually a really big deal in my house we would go decorate my grandma's house then we would decorate our house and it was always just fun and so even when I was an adult and bigger and my grandmother went into like assisted living we would go decorate her room there too as well because it was just like this tradition that I wanted to keep alive and since she has passed away um, Christmas is just a little bit different for me, but I want to keep those memories and those traditions and the things that I always did alive with my child as well. So that's why a lot of this stuff is kind of sentimental when I go around and show you. So let's get started. Enough about me. One more thing. I know I'm self-centered, but me and Anthony have this Christmas tradition where we always get matching pajamas and I am wearing my pajamas right now and I'm wearing an angel shirt and that is one of our traditions we always get matching pajamas my mom usually buys them for us and um, we usually try to get Ryan's that match too and um, we always wear angel shirts and I don't know why the angel shirt thing it was just one of those like one year he had two angel shirts and he's a huge angels fan and we just started wearing them with our matching pajamas. So um, right now I'm wearing one of the years. You can tell um, it's like a plaid. I don't even know what year. But we've been doing it for about nine, eight years, nine years now. I've been doing it since I was pregnant with Ryan and Ryan is eight years old. So that is our other tradition. So I thought it was more than fitting to do this video in Christmas pajamas and an angel shirt. All right, so this is my inside of my front door. It has this really pretty wreath that has um, all these pine cones on it. And I always keep these bells on my door year round because I'm crazy. And I feel like if somebody was gonna break into my house that I would hear these jingle bells, which is ridiculous. But um, So they're perfect, they fit. This is actually over here on um, this little dish cabinet that I have and this was actually my grandmother's nativity and she used to put it out when my mom was a kid it's actually made of paper if you can believe it or not it's just paper and um, I just thought it was cool that probably before they had big huge nativities or they could actually probably afford it because this was the 50s um, my grandmother put this in her house and I wanted to kind of keep the tradition alive so my mom gave it to me and I put it out every year this year I have this Merry Christmas on my front door and I really like a lot of this woodland stuff I've been doing it the last couple years um, my tree kind of went a different way this year but that's why I have a lot of woodland kind of things and I love these redbirds and my grandmother loved redbirds so I always make sure I have redbirds on my tree for her one more thing in my entryway um, probably the last thing that my grandma made me was this she sewed a lot and this is just made out of plastic canvas and sequins and she made it probably a year or two before she died I wouldn't it wasn't that long before she had passed away so I kind of just hang it up somewhere um, just kind of for her 
All right, guys, as you walk from my entryway into my living room, there is this Merry Christmas sign that I got from Belk last year. And I put it on my Christmas tree last year, but Anthony wanted to hang it like this. I think next year I'll get some greenery to put around it so the strings aren't just hanging. Um, but I did like that it was this burlap and that it had snowflakes in it. So it was kind of fun and glittery and, and just cute. Over here on this little entryway table, I have um, this little Christmas village. This actually means a lot to me. My mom made this village when I was a little kid, probably about, I don't know, maybe 10. And um, she passed it down to me. And I love putting it out because it's just, it's just pretty to me. And I, I love having the light and the glow from it. And it's kind of fun. Ryan thinks it's really fun too because it's a Santa Claus village. So this is um, Santa's house, um, the elves workshop, another elf house, and then reindeer school. And I love that he's teaching them the little flight patterns. And that was always my favorite when I was a kid, that little house. And of course there is a church as well. If we keep walking, you'll go into my hallway, and these are two stockings that used to hang at my grandma's house. My grandma had a stocking for everyone in the family, and on Christmas Eve, um, she would stuff them all and open the stockings. The top one's mine, and the bottom one is actually hers. And so I'm just hanging them kind of for more sentimental reasons than anything else. I just put them somewhere in my house to remember those happy memories. On the other side here is I actually have this little countdown thing. Uh, my mom made this. So she made it. She used to hang it on our thermostat, so that's why I put it in the hallway. There used to be like a rod, a dowel in here, and she would hang it on the thermostat in our hallway. And um, there used to be like a little tree or something um, that you put in the pocket for every day, but I over the years that's gone away so we just use a candy cane and this just reminds me of my childhood so I always put it up in my house. As you come into my guest bathroom there's not a whole lot of difference in here. Oh guys I was baking I'm so sorry. Um, but I have this little snowman that I put on the counter just to kind of bring some life to the bathroom. And then I have this little um, Scentsy warmer that has snowmen on it, and I think, yeah, it has it has three snowmen on it. It was called Snow Day. I put that out for the holiday season in here instead of a candle. If you come back into my living room, you walk right over to where my Christmas tree is, and. I am loving my Christmas tree this year. It is just kind of, it is not what I thought it was going to be, but it's, it's different than what I thought it was going to be, but I'm just loving the way it turned out. Um, I did this red garland with a white snowflake uh, ribbon over it, and all the ornaments are kind of these sentimental ornaments. All my filler ornaments would not fit. And so it was a big, a big task, but um, I always put a star at the top of my tree because um, just kind of like in the story of the birth of Jesus, how they were, you know, finding Jesus, they were looking, you know, the shepherds found him with the star. So I always put a star and um, I'm just loving the way it turned out. Up at the top here, I put some nativities that are from the 50s. These are um, ornaments that you would have typically seen back in the 50s that my mom has got me. And um, I put those right at the top. And this is me and Anthony's first ever Christmas ornament. And I put, I have a lot of these. Um, every year I get one of these kind of ornaments for the family, mostly for Ryan. So there's stuff when he was little. And a lot of this is like, you know, obviously he made this and there's just things that are sentimental, but um, like this is something that my grandmother made. It was like the last thing she made before she died. The one right here was when I was a little kid. 
This is one from my childhood. This one was actually one from my childhood. You can see it says 1987 in it. Um, this was my grandmother's, and so I put that at the top of the tree, kind of missing her. My mom makes Ryan these ornaments out of plastic canvas every single year. So he has all these really fun ornaments, and he, she makes one for him every year. They're easy to store, and he just loves it. So that's why there's a lot of these plastic canvas ones all over my tree. Um, I made these little angels and I have three of them, interestingly enough, and there's three of us, and I only have three of them, and I don't know what happened to the rest of them, but I made them when I was like 19. This is another one from when I was a kid, I wanna say 89 maybe? And um, I have a few of these on the tree. When Ryan was about five, um, I didn't have a lot of ornaments and I was trying to look for some and so we ended up and I couldn't afford to really buy any so we ended up making a bunch of these cinnamon ornaments and it worked out great. My mom bought me this one year and I just remember shopping with her so it's like super special and you know another one of our picture ornaments ones that Ryan has made. He's made this. This this one was one of my favorites because when I taught preschool I used to do this with the kids and I didn't have a child at the time and I remember thinking when I have a child I'm going to do this with him. My mom gave us this for our first um, Christmas together. And that's Ryan's first baby's first Christmas. This is actually one from my childhood that I made when I was in Girl Scouts. This is something, it was a prism that hung, I hung from my window, like on my curtain, the whole time I was growing up and I've always kept it, so I always put it on the tree. So just a lot of sentimental ornaments this year and feel like it just turned out really well. It wasn't what I was expecting, it wasn't what I planned, but it was just what it was supposed to be. And the garland took me a really long time, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Let me show you guys. It is this snowflake ribbon and just kind of red tool. I wish I would have got wider um, of this stuff, but I think that it turned out really nice. That is my tree this year and I just love it. The tree skirt, see how it's kind of this patchwork? Uh, my grandmother actually sewed and crocheted these little granny squares and then my mom attached them together and they made the tree skirt and my mom used it for a couple years and then she passed it down to me and now I can't imagine anything else under my tree. I just love the fact that my grandmother made it and forever it will be under my tree. It is so special to me that my mom would give it to me. It is oh, I just so happy and it will forever be under my tree. And I just love that it's kind of homemade and fun. This is our countdown that I always hang on the wall. Ryan loves this countdown, and it's just um, like a little magnet. So it kind of goes on and on like that. Um, I think we got it at, I want to say some craft store, Joann's, Michael's, something like that. And that is one of our favorite things to put up. Ryan loves moving the little um, peppermint. Hands down, my favorite Christmas decoration is these guys. Um, this is something that my grandmother actually knew somebody who was making them and had them made for all of her kids. And they used to put them on their fireplace and I have pictures from back um, in the late 80s of us and these on the fireplace. Um, these were actually my mom's and my grandmother passed her set down to my mom. So my mom passed hers down to me. Does that make sense? And um, so every year I've had them, I treasure them. Even um, like when we had animals, 
I did not put them out because I was super afraid that they would get ruined or eaten or something. So I just love these so much. I know they're funny looking and they're silly, but it's just something that my grandmother really liked them and it's just not Christmas without them here. So it worked out really, really well. And so every house, they're usually out. They're in all the pictures. In fact, I have pictures of Ryan when he was small and they're sitting right by our tree when he was like six months old. So they are hands down my favorite. All right, I got a lot, I have a lot of wall space right here in the, corn, in the corner of my living room. So I went ahead and just hung the stockings here. I got these stockings at Belk, I wanna say two years ago now. Might be almost three. Um, but I just love that they have our initials. I love that they kind of are just very traditional and fuzzy. And when I saw them, I just immediately knew these are our stockings. And I had been looking for stockings for years that I really, really liked. And I just never came across anything. So finally, I just came across these and I've been in love ever since. Never wanted to change them. And I probably never will because now um, it's been a few years and now they're a tradition. So it worked out really good. Um, I want to say they were a really good price at Belk as well. I think I got them for about $10 a piece on sale. So um, they are always fun. All right, so as we go down the room, this is my TV stand and I have a few little fun odds and ends on here. Um, my husband got me this while I was actually out of the country and he was shopping with my mom and he got it, liked it, and so um, I actually need to change the battery so it'll light up, but I, I think it's really fun actually. My mom got me this little nutcracker and she actually got me another one and we used them in kind of um, like a buffet when we bought them, but I wanted to put him there this year. On this side, this is something that I had seen on Pinterest and I was in love with. Really wanted to make, but oh, didn't know if I could do it. Then I went to a craft fair with my friend, one we go to, we try to go to every single year. And they had them there and I said, all right, I'm buying them, no problem. No guilt or shame here, bought them, love them, have used them for five years at least. Um, and I just put little um, tea lights in them and they glow and they're fun. This is a little nativity that Ryan made at church and I just love this. I just thought it was so cute and it turned out good. So I didn't know really what to put there and I thought that's perfect, that's what I'm gonna put there. Um, I have this little Noel sign that I randomly picked up but I'm not sure where. Very cheap, I'm sure. These. <laughs> Um, Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus down here are beads, I don't know if you can tell, but they are beads that you put a pin through and that's how the bead is connected to the little doll. My mom actually made these one year. She was um, probably early 20s and got really sick, had this really bad asthma attack and she, um, my grandmother brought these over and said, you know, don't be sad, you know, just because you don't feel good doesn't mean that you can sit around and do nothing because that was my grandmother. And she brought these over and said, you know, you need a project. And my mom did this project. And I, my mom was not a big fan, but I was like, I love them. I want them. And I put them out every year. So now I'm kind of for the seating area in my house. I don't have a lot. I really want to get some Christmas pillows. But as we go through, this um, was actually on that table. So I kind of just moved it. Um, I have last year's Santa pictures from Ryan. And then these are some pictures when Ryan was small. Me and Anthony were young. Um, I love this cross. I keep it out all year and I just could not put it away. I just needed it out. I usually have my nativity out on this little doily thing that was my grandmother's. And um, I actually usually have it on that table, but I was trying to figure out a way to make the whole nativity fit and look right. And finally, I just took the three main pieces, left it here, and I love it. Um, I got this nativity in Jordan, so 
um, it really means a lot to me. The cross I got at the Biltmore when I um, took my mom at Christmas time, and so that just has sentimental value, um, as well as I just love it and I love the symbolism and Jesus is the reason. For my coffee table, um, this runner, my mom actually made this and I love it. She actually went to a class like at Joanne Fabrics and made this and she wasn't using them in her house and I said, can I please use it? But I love that it has the red birds and um, on either side and kind of in the middle it has a quilt looking one and I put it out every year. I just love it. And it's hard too when you have a round coffee table to find something to put out. Um, this little cake plate I picked him up last year and it's the little Santa boots and I just think he's really cute uh, this little joy my mom made for me oh I picked up the Santa boot cake plate at Walmart very cheap maybe $10 um, the joy these are just plastic canvas um, little blocks that my mom made me one year and so I wanted them out the snowmen are something that my mom bought from my from a, the woman who babysat me when I was about young, like I don't know, three, four, something like that. And she was making them, so my mom bought them from her, and she's passed them down to me. And I just love that they've kind of stood the test of time at this point. They are like a styrofoam, and um, she just crocheted these little outfits on them. These, whoops. These little coasters are Santa coasters, and I try not to use these because they were my grandmother's. They're so special. I need to attach little, um, little dots to the rest of them but it looks like a little chimney and because they are my grandma's I put them out but I try not to use them and if company uses them it's okay but I try not to <laughs> um, my mom sent this to Ryan a couple years ago and I always save it and so he thought it was great and wanted it to be sitting right there so I said sure why not I on the other side I have this little plate that says Santa's cookies and I'm I always just leave it out. I don't know why. I should put it away and just wait for Christmas Eve, but I don't know. I just leave it out and I like it and it goes. My mom actually got this, I think when Ryan was about five and we could not find a Santa cookie plate. And this was the only one. And then right after she bought this, we found tons of them. This is our ornament for this year that's gonna go on the tree, those picture ornaments I told you that we do every year. And I'm leaving it out in hopes that I will remember to put a picture in it in the next couple days. Over on this little end table, these three blocks came from Kirkland's, I believe. It was something that I saw online and I really wanted, and my mom tries to buy me a decoration every year. And I wanna say this was a 13 to $15, it wasn't very much. And um, so she bought that for me one year and I love it. That is like, I've had it for probably four years now. Um, the little birds on it is I have this little blue bird and I have this little red bird. I actually bought these for myself at Cracker Barrel one year and it kind of to me symbolizes my grandmother and my grandfather. And because I told you my grandma, she liked the red birds. And then I loved that this little blue bird had a little top hat. And my grandpa, he loved birds. He really liked watching them. And um, So I liked them. And they were kind of this splurge item that I got at Cracker Barrel one year. These also are coasters. And they say joy on them. They're plastic canvas coasters that my mom made and I put them out every single year. I love them, and I love that she made them. Um, this is another Scentsy Warmer, and I kind of like the, the Santa play over here, This House Believes, and then the Santa Warmer. I really have kind of played up the Santa angle for as long as I can while my child is still young. Um, this sign I actually keep out. One of my very, very good friends in Tennessee, um, 
gave this to me last year and I keep this out all year long but it kind of during Christmas time has this little holly on it and makes it more festive. This little guy isn't he the cutest guys? My mom made this for me a couple years ago and I've made them as gifts. It actually has some candy in it. But isn't he the cutest? And so I, I know the time and effort that takes so I put it out every year and I'm so grateful that my mom does all these fun um, crafts for me because I feel like I wouldn't have any decorations without it. Um, I have been making Christmas cookies as you guys can tell. <laughs> so in my kitchen I just did a couple things. I got this at a craft fair and I thought this would be a good one to hang up this year. I have a bunch of different ones but I just this one jumped out at me and I like the fact that it's a pot holder on top and it clings around or buttons around I guess pretty easily. And then I hung up this little pot holder that Ryan made um, two years ago at a festival. This little handprint. It looks so big, but he was, um, I think five. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you into my dining room here. I am drying some clothes, so this is real life. So sorry, but that's how it is. <laughs> um, uh, this sleigh I actually got at that same craft fair that me and my bestie go to every year and it's really hard to store but I think it's so pretty and I love putting it on my dining room table because I felt like I needed something a little bit bigger. Um, this is the other table runner that is very similar to the one that's on my coffee table. My mom made this one as well, and so I kind of stole them both, <laughs> asked for them. And this one has Thanksgiving on one side, so oftentimes I'll use this one for Thanksgiving or fall and then flip it over for Christmas. Um, this year I got this book at Cracker Barrel, and it had... Um, a couple different stories in it and so me and Ryan are actually reading the Christmas Carol right now. <laughs> These are my really fun placemats that I got at Kmart a few years ago. They're like a really thick um, almost like a really thick felt I guess you would say and I love that it has all these words and I'm just really a wordy person I love that and they're not in the best shape and they're really hard to clean but I just really like them so I'm actually thinking that I could put them on top of something and the words would come out better um, but I've had them for a couple years and I just really like them well I think that's it for me I think that's all of my decor it's interesting because when I got out all these tubs actually my husband got them out correction um, I just thought oh I have so much stuff and then I started putting it out and I didn't feel like I really had enough but just looking around at all of the like the sentimental touches just kind of warms my heart that is really when I think of Christmas those are the memories that I hold on tight to is the homemade things and um, the things that mean something or I can say you know this was my grandmother's this is what I remember as a kid and I'm hoping that I can pass some of that down to my son even though he's a boy that I don't know if he'll really care but we'll see <laughs> and um, but I think he will and Christmas for me is about a lot of traditions really good memories and I just loved um, being able to share all this with you guys. So I know I don't have a ton of stuff that I can say, oh, go buy it here, go buy it there, like most people do on YouTube. But maybe I gave you guys some good ideas. Well, thank you guys again, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications. And I will see you guys again for another brand new video. Have a good day, and Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays.